What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. I've been searching for this build for a long time on 2K21 Next Gen, and I finally found it on YouTube, but I thought I'd put my own little spin on it because I think some of the attributes and badges could be set up a little bit differently. This name is absolutely gruesome, and I know it's late in the 2K21 season, but if you got some extra pocket change, uh, some extra VC laying around, might want to throw it at this build. It would be a hot name to bring out at the city or in the wreck. So, I think this build is basically like a Zion Williamson hatch, a little Charles Barkley, and, you know, a little Anthony Mason. I'm talking about the skilled paint beast. Like I said, I've been trying to find this build for a long time. I found the skilled paint defender, first one ever. Uh, the playmaking paint beast is very similar, but this build, you have to have specific attributes to get this name. So let's jump right into it. Uh, you're going to be a power forward. Um, it is sort of a meta... Uh, build at 6'7", 220 pounds, excuse me, with 7'4 wingspan. I go built because I want that intimidation factor. And going on to the attributes, uh, I'm going to put my close shot at 50. Max out your driving layup, driving dunk, and standing dunk. And then get your post control to a 43. That actually uh, was some tinkering on my part to get those 18 finishing badges. Uh, if you remove close shot and post control back and forth, it kind of shimmies some of the badges. And so I feel like I oozed out the most potential finishing wise with this build instead of just punting, uh, you know, both close shot and post control, which a lot of meta 6-7 power forwards do. Shooting, you're going to get your midi and your three ball to an 82. Just like on all the meta builds, you can shoot on the build at 82 with a midi and a three ball. And then get your free throw to a 45. So it's going to give you 44, that ninth shooting badge, but you're going to have an extra attribute. I'm going to throw that on free throw to give me a little bit of extra potential to knock down a free th at the wreck. So we're going to have nine shooting badges. Uh, you have to have a 70 pass accuracy or higher to get this name. Um, I haven't necessarily tried to get it over an 80. That could be a playmaking paint beast. So get your pass accuracy at a 70 on this build. Get your ball handle to an 80 for those pro handles, and then max out your speed with ball. It's going to give you 18 playmaking badges. That's hot. Interior defense, let's get this to an 84. Don't max that out to an 85. Actually, drop it down to an 84. It's going to bring your strength to a 60, but we're going to put that down to a 59. That's a little hidden atch. You're going to max out your perimeter D. You're going to max out your blocks to a 93. Max out your defensive rebounds to a 95, which gives you 70 offense rebs, 26 defensive badges. That's absolutely gruesome. Uh, you know, this build can guard one through five. It's a great meta defender. Um, I'm really liking the specs on this build, especially defensively. Going to get your speed max out to an 84, your acceleration to an 80. Get your vert to an 80, and then max out your stamina to a 60. That's all you need on 2K21 Next Gen. And so they're 18 finishing, 9 shooting, 18 playmaking, and 26 defending. I think this is an amazing build. If uh, you know, Like I said, most of you probably already have a maxed out build or two or three. Uh, but this skilled paint beast name is, I've never even seen it at the city. I've only seen it on YouTube. Um, and I've only seen it in the metric system. So this is a way to bring out something that no one's ever seen before with a little bit more finishing and uh, you know some really good physicals overall. Let's go to takeover. You can get that finishing take, shooting take, lock take, or interior defense. I actually like going double defense on this. Extreme clamps to guard the guards. Maybe some paint intimidation or stuff blocks to guard the bigs. And then you're going to end up with the skilled paint beast. Ooh, I like that shades of Julius Randle Zion. Uh, so if you're looking for another build, uh, you know, to just play until 2K22 drops, you know, shoot, drop some VC on this if you got some extra pocket change laying around, and, you know, bring out an RBC to the wood and uh, open some eyes, you know what I'm saying? So let's put this in the builder, see if it passes the eye test. I haven't played with it yet, just ran the specs. So let's see, you know, if this build is what it is, and, uh, you know, we're gearing up for 2K22.